Working smarter, not harder, is not a new concept. Working hard entails putting in a lot of time at the office if you want to succeed in the long run. You must get up early to start before everyone else and stay up late to finish the day after everyone else has gone to bed. On the other hand, working smart essentially entails identifying your strengths and weaknesses and creating a network around you to support you in achieving your objectives as quickly and effectively as you can. Working smarter, not harder, can boost your performance and productivity while also raising your level of job satisfaction. Additionally, it increases your value to the company and increases your job security. So, here's what you need to do if you want to start working smarter. But before we get deeper, if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Stop Multitasking Multitasking does not work as well as you might think, despite what some people might say. You can focus on multiple tasks that call for intense concentration. It's a fact of life. Even though you might think you're managing multiple tasks well, switching from one to the other makes it difficult to finish tasks well and completely. Your mental health is in danger each time you attempt to do this. Avoid wasting your time by attempting to multitask. Instead, concentrate on one thing at a time, finishing it before moving on to the next. This method yields much better results. According to studies, even though you may think you are multitasking, you are task switching, which means that you are dividing your attention between two or more tasks at once. This uses up the energy resources you need to complete your work. Because of this, even though you didn't do much physical activity during the day, you're exhausted and out of the mood to do anything when you get home at the end of the day. It can be challenging to concentrate on one task at a time. But the rewards are worthwhile. You accomplish more, make fewer mistakes, and feel significantly less worn out at the end of the day. Additionally, wait until you have completed the first task before moving on to the next one. Number 2. Take enough breaks It can be tempting to maintain your concentration past the point of exhaustion when you're under pressure to meet a deadline or complete a difficult task. But every time we skip a break, our minds grow weary and we easily become distracted. Many workers are accustomed to working continuously without a break. The usual justifications for doing this include a heavy workload, a tight deadline, a persistently ill co-worker, or an urgent request from a very significant client. But despite all of these pressing issues, a break is still necessary. If you want to work at your peak, you must take a well-deserved break. According to one study, the human brain's attentional resources diminish after prolonged concentration on a single task which impairs performance and makes it harder to focus. When working on lengthy tasks, such as studying for an exam or filing taxes, it is best to force yourself to take short breaks. You can maintain your concentration on your task by taking brief mental breaks. Number 3. Batch similar tasks together Batching is a technique for increasing workplace productivity that involves combining related tasks. This makes it possible for you to finish them quickly and without having to take breaks or switch to other tasks. Batching boosts productivity, sharpens focus, and minimizes time-consuming errors as a result. Because you aren't switching back and forth between different types of work, this method increases your efficiency. Given that you can finish a lot of small tasks at once, this is especially helpful for those. The whole idea behind this approach is to break up tasks into manageable chunks to increase productivity. This makes sense because it takes some time to settle into a rhythm. You waste time trying to pick up where you left off if you start and stop the process repeatedly. When batching, all you need to do is concentrate on doing the same or related tasks repeatedly until the job is finished. These enable you to establish a routine and spend less time on each task individually. 
Although switching between tasks requires some effort on your part, concentrating on just one allows you to concentrate more readily. Number 4. Schedule tasks based on your energy levels. We neglect our energy levels when planning our work even though they play a significant role in productivity. Everyone experiences energy bursts at various times. If you know that you work best after lunch, avoid scheduling meetings or email checking during that time. Instead, schedule your most difficult tasks for when you're at your most alert and save your easier tasks for when you start to feel lethargic or fatigued. Don't try to complete everything. Instead, concentrate on the task that will have the biggest long-term impact. Number 5. Delegate more. Giving your team tasks to complete allows you to concentrate your energy on the duties that are specifically yours, which is one of the best ways to demonstrate smart leadership. Planning and prioritizing the work are crucial so that your team can work as effectively and efficiently as possible. Although you and the company become more productive when you delegate, one must exercise caution. Make sure your team is composed of competent individuals. It's crucial to divide up the work in a way that encourages everyone to give their best effort and play to their strengths. Delegating is essential for leaders because they cannot and should not perform all tasks by themselves. The team is empowered by delegation which also fosters trust and promotes professional growth. Effective delegation can boost employee commitment and trust, boost output, and guarantee that the right people are performing the tasks that are best suited for them. Number 6. Know when to quit. Even though it seems counterintuitive, it's crucial to understand when to turn off your computer for the day. There are always warnings. Your thoughts stray. You repeatedly read the same passage, or perhaps you are stuck, and it is taking you longer than usual to draft an email. Even though staying up until the wee hours of the morning might be appealing, you'll get more done if you stop and continue the next day. According to recent studies, millions of people regularly put in extra hours without getting paid for it. Working late is one of the main causes of the ongoing conflict between work and your other responsibilities. Whether it's because of a hectic schedule, a heavy workload, or just because of your employer's expectations. There are reasons why you should leave work on time, even if you adore your job. You must first recharge your batteries. People assume that staying late at work indicates that you are working hard. However, this isn't always the case, and in some cases, it may even imply the opposite. Your health will suffer if you work late. Getting enough sleep will increase your productivity during working hours. Working late can also make you feel resentful towards your job, which is bad for your productivity and mental well-being. Number 7. Minimize Distractions Taking control of your surroundings is another way to work smarter. We're getting more and more distracted at work in a world of push notifications, email, instant messaging, and condensing office space. The typical worker is interrupted 50 to 60 times a day, and 80% of these interruptions are unimportant. The flow state where people are up to 5 times more productive is one that people spend little time in, according to research. People are less productive and more stressed than ever because of all the distractions. Lack of control over one's work is a major cause of workplace stress, according to the American Institute of Stress. According to the study, it is not true that people can quickly refocus. Even though you might think you've refocused on your work, you might just be working more quickly to complete your tasks. You might experience increased pressure to complete the task, stress, and frustration as a result. Number 8. Focus on progress, not perfection. When you concentrate on progress rather than perfection, you can be more productive and accomplish more. People spend a lot of time making things perfect. By constantly making things perfect when they could be done in half the time, perfectionism makes you work harder rather than smarter. To prevent this, focus your attention on moving closer to your objectives. Give the task your best effort, then finish it and move on. 
doing the portion of the project that you excel at and then recruiting others to help you with the remaining portions is an alternative. Progress rather than perfection encourages us to concentrate on more modest accomplishments as opposed to the ultimate objective. Because we can see signs of our development, these eventually helps us accept and enjoy things even if they aren't perfect. We frequently have inflated expectations and think that if we don't achieve perfection in our endeavors, we have failed. But since we are all imperfect people, that is what makes us special. The pursuit of perfection should never be the objective because it will always fail. This does not, however, imply that we shouldn't aim high. Progress must be the main priority, not perfection. Focus on the method, not the result. The journey should take priority over the final destination. Number 9. Tidy up your workspace. Another excellent way to boost productivity and work smarter is to keep your workspace clean, both physically and digitally. Numerous studies have shown that excessive clutter makes workers more stressed and harms their moods. Additionally, if items aren't buried beneath piles of paperwork and lunch wrappers from the previous week, they are much simpler to locate. By keeping your desk neat and organizing your digital files properly, you'll be doing yourself a huge favor. When everything is taken into account, the extra time required is a relatively low cost. Workplace clutter may result in emotional distress and decreased productivity. When you're emotionally distressed, it's easy to get sidetracked and feel guilty, which makes it challenging to unwind. Efficiency will result from having a tidy and organized workspace because you won't have to spend time looking for paper. A tiny desk will also give you the impression that you are in charge, which will make it simpler for you to concentrate on your work and block out distractions. Number 10. Use the right tools. Your productivity at work can be significantly increased by using tools effectively. They were initially developed for this purpose. These consist of tools like software, equipment, keyboard, shortcuts, and more. Finding the right tools that meet your needs and complement your preferred workflow is the trick. This might involve some trial and error, but fortunately, many businesses offer free trials of their products, allowing you to try them out without taking any risks. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to like this video and drop a comment. See you next time!